Hi everyone, I'm Julie. I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite snacks today for myself and my husband. It's going to include some bananas, apples, strawberries, chocolate chips, puffed quinoa, medjool dates, cinnamon, of course, I love cinnamon, and PB2. I use PB2 quite a bit, so I thought I would show you how I actually make it and then use it. So it is a peanut butter powder. It's got 90% less fat than normal peanut butter, just the store-bought peanut butter. And two tablespoons is only 60 calories. So that's just ridiculous to me. Compared to just store-bought peanut butter, it's so much lower and it tastes great. Now there is a version that does not include sugar or salt. That one does not taste as good to me. So I would recommend going with the one that has sugar and salt in it. The sugar is only one more gram in this than in the one that says it has none in it. So go with this one. And all you need to do is just get a heaping spoonful or more in a little bowl and then add in a little water. And give it a stir, mix it in. And sometimes it's a hit or miss with this. So sometimes it's too thin right out of the gate and I have to just dip into the peanut butter a little bit more of the powder. Like this is really chunky right now. So this would actually be a great consistency for the chocolate peanut butter nice cream I make. I'm gonna make a video on that later. So that should be coming soon. But I like to make the nice cream and then I put it in a bowl and I just dollop this peanut butter into it. It kind of sinks to the bottom and then I throw it in the freezer and let it firm up a bit. And it reminds me of Baskin Robbins peanut butter and chocolate ice cream. So if you like that, you might like this as well. So again, a little too thick for what I'm going for right now. I'm going to add a little bit more water. Oops, I think I added too much. We'll see. Maybe not. Mix it up. Yeah, this is good. Make sure you get the stuff off the spoon as well. And it's kind of a, a drizzle that I'm going to put on top. Another thing that I do with this is that second round of water I put in, instead of doing that, I would put in maple syrup and I would stir it in to that and I'll top that on my pancakes. It's delicious. So lots of uses you can use for this, but today we're just going to use it as kind of a drizzle on our snack. So I pre-cut all of the fruit except for the bananas. I didn't want them to go brown. Get this out of the way. And just slice up your bananas, whatever size you'd like. You could even put them on a cutting board and slice it um, long ways and then dice it to make it a little bit smaller chunks for you. And I think I've mentioned this before, but we love bananas in this house. We go through so many, it's silly. So just chop these up in your bowl. And honestly, you could make this with any number of these um, in combination. So you don't have to put them all in, but I am today. So we're gonna throw in some diced strawberries. And then some diced apples. I can tell which one's going to be my husband's. It's a little fuller. And then some chopped medjool dates. And these are so sticky. We'll see if I can get them separated. These are so delicious. If you have not had medjool dates, you are missing out. These taste like caramel. So delicious. And then I'm going to start with the puff quinoa, put that over the top. And that just gives it a nice little crunch and some protein as well. And then where would I be without my chocolate chips?
could also add in some nuts or seeds into this as well, but I just wasn't feeling like that right at the moment. So I'm gonna douse it with cinnamon. We both love cinnamon so much. And then take your PB2 and just start drizzling it on. Get crazy, make a design. Get creative, this is your craft time. You can use your food to play with, absolutely. What were the adults thinking when we were kids? Don't play with your food, but I like to. I really, really like to. It's fun. And that's it. So you can see that we've got two bowls filled with this delicious, nutritious, healthy, plant-based, vegan, simple, easy snack. So I hope that you give this a try. If you do, let me know what you think. If you have different flavor combinations that you're gonna try and you'd like me to try those as well, just put them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it and have a great day.